Hey, Chris here. Welcome to another RC Worst video. Today we're talking about control switches, and uh, this is in line with our theme currently, talking about switches all this week and all next week. So stay tuned for more great content next week. Uh, so today, this video, we're talking about control switches, and we're specifically just going to roll through what control switches are offered by SJE Rhombus, which is the manufacturer that we primarily offer. There's definitely a few different types of control switches out there, but really when you look at it, there's not a lot to choose from. So you've got, uh, basically you've got two choices on uh, what type of switch you're looking at in terms of mercury or non-mercury, which would be the mechanical option. So you've got uh, of each of those two, a normally open or a normally closed version of either one of those. Now, the thing with control switches is they are typically narrow angle once again so if you watch the previous video you saw they only require typically a relatively short tether but uh, control switches are intended only for use with uh, like control panels they aren't able to take the amperage so generally speaking the control switches that uh, SJ rhombus offers are rated for five amps so when we're talking about the differences between mercury and non-mercury switches you've got the signal masters back to the SJ rhombus um, nomenclature. Anytime you see the word master, it's indicative of a um, mechanical switch. And then they've also got their uh, sensor switches or sensor floats, which are the mercury version of those. Uh, in addition, in their mechanical offering, they have kind of a little bit more of a specialized offering where they offer not only normally open or normally closed, they offer what's known as a single pole double throw switch or S. PDT uh, for, for short, uh, if you can remember an acronym. But at any rate, the single pull double throw switch basically is gonna have three wires coming out of it. So normally open, normally closed. And it's a nice switch to have on your truck um, if you run into both normally open and normally closed switches in the field. That way you've always got the right switch for the job. In addition to that, they also have in the mechanical offering uh, their milliamp master uh, setup. And those are intended specifically for very low amp, uh, uh, amp amperage applications, low voltage applications, where you're dealing typically with intrinsically safe relays uh, or explosion proof as it's often referred to in the industry. So that'd be like your class one, div one applications um, where you want to have a non-sparking uh, switch, but it also a switch that works well with those low voltages. And that's specifically what those are designed for. The nice thing about those switches is uh, they're also available in a wide angle configuration. So they can be ordered in narrow angle or wide angle if you need to accomplish more of a cycle with like a traditional pump switch where you've got a lot of swing going on, um, that's what your wide angle uh, control switch is gonna do for you. It's gonna give you more mobility of that switch so you're able to achieve a longer cycle. And since pump switches are not rated for intrinsically safe applications, it's a great choice and I think it's definitely needed in the marketplace. In addition to that, SJ Rhombus also has a uh, vertical master version of of their uh, control switch. The vertical master version is the 2LC and uh, that configuration operates just the same as their pump control switch where the float travels up and down this fixed rod and it's great for those uh, tight uh, applications where you've got real space constraints. So these switches are all offered in various uh, mounting configurations. So you can get them with a pipe clamp, which is gonna be something similar to what we've got over here, where you're able to attach the float switches to the uh, pipe itself, or you can get them with no mounting option, or you can get them with an external weight, which is just a small weight that uh, creates a pivot point as the switch hangs down in the tank, and then the, the float switch will pivot it from wherever that weight is is attached inside the tank. That's quickly rolling through all of the SJE Rhombus control switches. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more great content like this. We'll see you next time.